And what did Charya about all his disciples with him when he joined Lord Chaitanya? So that's why it's clear in the mind this book was written in the 1600s. The Chaitanya Charitamrita is one of the last, it's practically, maybe I think it is the last book or last transcendental writing that was done by Krishna's Kaviraj. You see in the very beginning of the book, he says, my hand is trembling, I'm very old, my eyes are weak, I can't see. I'm just living here on the banks of Shamakon next to, in my kutir next to Dasko Swami, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I'm always listening to Harikata from him and about the Puri Leela and Gambira Leela of Goranga. But now the devotees have asked me to come to Madan Wahan and take his blessings to write the story, the life of Lord Chaitanya. Because I wrote Govinda Leela Amrita, I wrote a, and I also wrote a beautiful commentary on Krishna Karna Amrita, which is called Saranga Rangada. Saranga, Saranga Rangada Tika. An amazing Tika and commentary on the Krishna Karna Amrita by Bill Mangala Thakur, by Sri Krishna's Kaviraj. It's in English also, with the, the uh, published by Srila Natadas Babaji Maharaj, with his own commentaries. So they've asked me, so that he's writing. So now this is, he wrote this book, book is finished in 1602 or so. So that's, you know, Lord Chaitanya had already left 1486. He left in 1534. Lord Chaitanya left this planet in 1534. He was 48 years old. He was born, born or appeared in 1486. So from the, so when Krishna's Kaviraj, the great Acharya, and the great, who was asked by all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, all the gurus and sannyasis and babajis and Goswamis, they asked him, please, you write. You're the great writer. You know all the philosophy and you know Ras, everything. So he, please, you, you write the, the, the tattva and the, the biography of Lord Chaitanya. So he did. So what he's writing is definitely Praman, and no one can argue uh, differently. So it's, this is a very significant, important verse for members of the way to Parivar. Because they won't find a similar. This is, of course, the chapter of Waita Charya, but if you look at the chapter of Nityananda, you're not going to find the phrase Mukyanga. Acharya Gosai Chaitanyara Mukya Anga, Ara Eka Anga Tanar Prabhu Nityananda. Then, then he says, Ara, Ara, then there's another, there's another one part, there's another one Anga, Prabhu Nityananda. There's the Mukya, there's a Mukya Anga, and Ara, Ara Eka, there's Mukya Anga and Eka Anga. That's another one. Ara means another. Ara Eka Anga. This is a very significant verse. He says, the main, the main limb, the main branch of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Advaita Charya. And there's another one. There's another limb, but he's not main. Ara Ek, he's, he's one Anga. That's Nityananda. So in those days, I mean, in the, in the beginning, in the very beginning of Chaitanya's movement and Chaitanya Char- Gaudiya Vaishnavism, Advaita Parivar and Advaita in his preaching were very big. But Advaita was quite old, so he was preaching, and that's why he's called the Mukyanga for so many reasons, because he's bought Lord Chaitanya. Nityananda didn't bring Lord Chaitanya, Advaita Charya thing. So all these, you know, the great glories of Nityananda, he bought, he bought down Krishna as Garanga Mahapu, and therefore he, he brought the Sankirtan movement, and he delivered the whole universe. But as far as spreading Gaudiya Vaishnavism, after, after the time of Nityananda leaving this planet, and way to leaving this planet, then the Nityananda Parivar became very, very big and, and vast. It became, for whatever reason, I can't say. But another reason why that is, during the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when they all came together, when the teen, it's called Teen Prabhu, there's uh, Garanga Mahap, there's Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, and Awaita Prabhu. They're called the Teen Prabhus of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. So these are the main you know, commanders of the whole thing. So when Garanga Mahaprabhu, he was telling, he told Nityananda, he directly ordered Nityananda because our weight was already preaching and Nityananda was just being an avadut. You know, he, he was an avadut and then, you know, he, 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 then he, was, he would sit on Malini's lap, he would sit on Srivas on Thakur's mother, his wife, and she was like se- 70 and then Nitai was like 30 and he would take her breast and start drinking her breast milk and she would give breast milk in a mode of, a mode of Rohini because uh, the mother of Balaram, this is in Chaitanya Bhagavat. So he was doing a lot of wild things, you know. <laughs> so then Lord Goranga said, listen, you're too much of an Abadut. 
and people people start speaking bad about my my part my sampradaya. <laughs> He's called Nityananda Avadut, but Advaita is called Acharya. Acharya Achari means behavior, behavior. The te- teachings, the, the guru, the teachings and behavior. So <laughs> Advaita Acharya is paka behavior, paka proper siddhanta teachings, but Nitya is Avadut. So then, and sometimes he would be dancing in kirtan and Shiva Sangam. This isn't Chaitanya Bhagavat. This is not made up. And he would just throw his clothes off in the ecstasy. <laughs> and inside the house, it's like, you know, you have a courtyard in your house. You know, some people have a courtyard in their house and there's some windows in the temple or whatever. So all the ladies are in the temple looking out the window. In the courtyard, Lord Chaitanya is dancing. You know, I see that. And all the men are dancing it, and together, Jagannatha Pandit and Sotap Damodar, everyone dancing. Nityananda is in ecstasy and he, throw, he takes off his clothes and starts jumping around naked. And all the ladies are looking out the window seeing an ecstatic kirtan party. <laughs> and Lord Chaitanya says, what are you doing? And he grabs him and he starts wrapping his clothes and then Nityananda throws him off again. So then after all this kind of avadut type of unpredictable behavior, Lord Chaitanya said, I think it's time you got married. <laughs> because when you get married, your behavior really changes <laughs> most of the time. You come, you come settle down, cool down, calm down. So then, but because he was still Avadut, at the time of his marriage to Vasudha, there was a big feast, and Vasudha's younger sister was serving out the food and the marriage you know, function to everyone. And then when she walked by, served Nityananda and walked by, Nityananda, because he's, you know, he's not yet, he's not, he got married, but he's still Avadut. So then he pulled her sari. <laughs> she went by and he pulled her sari and pulled her over to his side. And the father, the father, you know, Sridas, Sridas, Sridas Sarakela, the father of Vasudha, I believe, father of Vasudha and, and uh, the sister, sister Janava Mata, or Janava Devi, he saw that and his eyes went, what? What is this? <laughs> she said, Kanya, she's my Kanya, she's a virgin daughter, she's not even married. And, and in front of all hundreds of people, he, and then he, he went up to him and he whispered in his ear, he said, listen, Natai, you have to, you, you know, you can't do this. You have to, you, <laughs> you just can't pull it. This is not, you know, this is not in Los Angeles Beach, you know. This is not, <laughs> this is not, Ju- this is not Juhu Beach, you know. <laughs> This is 500 years ago. You have to, you have to marry her too. He's okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so then he married Vasudha and Janava. But <laughs> so Nitya is not the Mukya Anga, but it's that he became uh, became. Now they definitely have the the main. Uh, most of everyone, as I said, are followers of Nityananda. But we should understand the history and we should understand the tattvas. So then. Well, we don't feel like, oh, we're, we're so small. Because <laughs> we're like, oh, you guys, are, you're nothing, you know, you're nobody. We're the big guys, you know. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Well, we have our own pride. We can be, everyone has their pride. Pride in their parivara, pride in their guru, pride in their sampradaya, pride in their Krishna. Did you see my, did you, why don't you come to my house and see my Krishna? Why do you say my Takuji, my deities? I have mine. Why I see yours? No, no, mine is better. <laughs> you see, no, I have offered a special dress today. Besides, I, I made some special cake. Oh, you made cake? Then I have to come for darshan. <laughs> One way or another, you get them to come for darshan. <laughs> so then, Tanara Prakasha Veda Dvaita Charya Kaya Mana Vakya Tanara Bhakti Sadakarya. Dvaita Charya is, is, a, is a Prakash, prakash Garanga. He always engages in bhakti with all his thoughts, words, and deeds. Kaya mana bhakya, bhakti sadakarya. I think there's only one more. These are just the glories. This is it. These are the last ones. This is the end of the chapter. This, we're, this title is called Relationship and Glories. Relationship with Vaita Charya and Glories. Well, see, Vaita. It's all chapter 6 I've been reading. This is verse 114 through 118. By preaching Sankirtan Prachar, Jagat Jagat Tarila, Advaita Prasadi Loka Prima Dana Paila. Advaita Charya liberated the whole world by preaching Sankirtan, and everyone received the treasure and love of Godhead by the mercy of Advaita. This is big. Advaita Prasad Loka, 
Prasada Loka Prema Dana Paila. Paila means received. Everyone received the Prema Dan. Goloka Prema Dan. They received the gift of Prema by the mercy and Prasada of Advaita Charya. Advaita Mahimayananta Ke Parisa Kahite Sehiliki Jeshuni Mahajana Haite. Who can describe the unlimited glories of Advaita, Ananta Mahima? I write as much as I as I have known from the great authorities. Se Liki, Liki Shuni Mahajane, Shuni Mahajan. What I've heard from the great great devotees, I've written it down. Acharya Charane, Acharya Charane Mora, Koti Namaskar, Ite Kichu Aparada, Nalabe Amara. I offer millions of obeisances at the feet of Wait Acharya, and I beg him not to take any offense with me. Tomara Mahima Koti, Samudra Aghara, Tahara Ihata Kahi, E Bara Aparada. I wait as glories are fathomless as millions of oceans and seas. Speaking of his glories, it, it, uh, even to say that it has a certain dimension is an offense. <laughs> jaya Jaya, Jaya Jaya Jaya, no, that's good. Jaya Jaya Shri, this is a very funny meter here. Jaya Jaya Shri, Advaita Acharya, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya, Nityananda Arya, all glories, all glories, all glories to Sri Advaita Acharya. And to and Jaya Jaya, all glories, all glories to Sri Advaita Nityananda. Advaita Acharya Ki Jaya. So that's just a little bit nice thing about Advaita Acharya. <laughs> 